teacher all welcome to my youtube channel today our topic is requested from one of my subscribers the topic is about calculus integrations so our source is came from the book of ac math authored by milan b inohado okay first i would like to give an overview what is calculus and what is integration? Calculus is a branch of mathematics that the learning process is about the plane geometry and analytic geometry. This calculus was introduced by Isaac Newton 30 years ago after the introduce of Re, uh, rectangular coordinate system by Rene Descartes in 1637. Now, what is integration? Integration is the reverse process or inverse process of derivatives and a certain function. The functions like y is equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Except if there is a uh, equal sign so that is not a function that is belongs to uh, algebraic equation now integration is also called anti-derivatives and it is also called anti-differentiation now in arithmetic we have uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division the inverse of addition is subtraction and the inverse of multiplication is division so integration now it is an addition and derivatives it is a subtraction now the symbol of integration is elongated a s letter s elongating then it is also called integral sign or symbols so to solve the problem and integration, we have to use the formulas. The first formula, integral dx is equals to x plus c. The variable, is any variable, we can use this. And con constant is the value of dx. So in the time of our process in computing integration, if we encounter integral dx the value is x plus c number two formula it is a distributive property as integral p plus q dx so we have to do is to multiply integral p times dx equals integral p dx plus integral sine times q dx so equals plus integral q dx and number three, we have integral quantity e p dx is equal to a, the uh, constant, before the integral sign, then p dx. And number four, we have integral p and dx is equal to uh, the exponent plus one and integration we have to plus one and every exponent of a variable then n plus one plus c constant take note that the n not equal to negative one number one how to evaluate integration function our solution copy mo na ito Tapos gagamit tayo ng formula number 3. And formula number 3, kailangan itong constant number 6 isulat bago itong integral symbol, then copy the x dx. Ang susunod natin ay apply natin yung formula number 4. Copy the constant number 6. Then, mawawala na itong integral symbol, copy the x variable, magpa-plus na tayo ngayon sa exponent. x plus 1, 
equals to dx is equal to plus c. Then simplify, it becomes 6 x squared because 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then divided by 2, copy lang yung denominator, plus c. Then, simplify ulit natin. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Copy x squared plus c. Ito na yung ating final answer. Para masiguro na tama yung sagot natin, i-check natin siya sa derivative formula. n a x n minus 1. n means exponent. a is a numerical coefficient. x variable and exponent minus 1. Kopyain muna natin yung sagot. 3x squared plus c equals exponent 2. Then a is the numerical coefficient of the variable 3. Then the variable x, yung exponent natin ay 2 minus 1 plus c. Then simplify 2 times 3, 6. 2 minus 1, the variable exponent. The answer is 1. That's why wala na. Pag 1 na, silent. Hindi na susulat yung exponent na 1. Plus C. Then, since positive na to, so, pag inalis natin itong positive, magiging papalitan natin siya ng integral symbol. Then, copy 6x. Ang value ngayon ng C, wala na yung positive dahil tinanggal na natin, pinalitan natin ng integral symbol. Then, the C is equals to dx. Kung titignan natin, itong na-check natin ay equal dito sa integration functions na given sa number 1. Answer or evaluate number 2 example. So, the given is integral the sum of 4x plus 2 dx. So, una is to meet natin o analyze natin kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin dito. So, ito ay nasa formula number 2. We were going to uh, distribute. Okay? Equals integral first. Multiply 4x. Multiply dx. Then plus Integral sign times 2 times dx. Okay, after that, we have to follow uh, formula number 3. Itong constant na po kailangan may lagay natin sa on hand. Then followed by the integral sign or symbol. Then copy the variable x dx. Then plus the constant mona then copy the integral sign then dx ang susunod ay kailangan natin may extract itong integral sign to extract meaning to alisin natin yan so we're going to use formula number 4 4 times the x variable but to extract this one we're going to add the exponent we have sign it 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 equals 2. dx is common, so hindi na pwede ilagay dito sa dulo na yan. Kasi common is anong visa namin siyang ilalagay. Plus 2. Then, the problem number 1, integral dx is equal to x plus constant. Then we have to, we're going to simplify now. 4 times x, x plus 1, 2, the exponent. So we have 4, x, 1 plus 1 is 2, over 2, plus 2 times x, 2x, plus c. Then again, we're going to divide, 4 divided by 2, the answer is 2, x squared plus 2x plus c. This is our answer now. And we're going to check using the derivatives formula. We have n, a, x, 
and minus 1. So derivative minus 1, so integration is plus 1. Okay? We have to write our answer first. We have 2x squared plus 2x plus c is equal to exponent. The exponent is 2. Then the numerical is 2. Then x exponent is 2 minus 1 plus 2 times the exponent 1 variable x 1 minus 1 plus the constant equals 2 times 2 or 2 minus 1 x remaining plus 2 times 1 2 x 1 minus 1 x raised to 0 plus c then simplify again 4x plus any number with 0 exponent is equals to 1 times 2 equals 2 plus c then addition we're going to change this n integral sign then 4x plus 2 and the constant changed to dx. Then two terms use parentheses. This is not equal to our given integral function. So therefore, our answer is correct. Okay, let us answer now number three. Evaluate five integral x dx is equal to. First, we're going to analyze what uh, formula that we're going to use. This time, nasa formula number 3 na. So, gagamitin na lang natin yung formula number 4. Equals 5. Copy first muna. X dx is equals 2. So, formula number 4, kailangan natin may extract, extract or maalis yung uh, integral sign. So, we're going to multiply 5 times the value of x. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then, dx. Then, we're going to simplify. 5 times 1 plus 1 equals 2 over 2. Then, dx equals 5 times is x squared over 2 then this one becomes plus c okay that's now our final answer so we are going to check by uh, and derivatives formula we have n a x n minus 1 Copy first the answer. We have 5x squared over 2 plus c is equal to 5. The exponent is 2 times 2. x 2 minus 1 over 2 plus c. And we have 10 x divided by 2 because 2 minus 1 equals x na na. Then plus c equals 10 divided by 2 equals 5x plus c. Then positive. Remember our integral is addition. So this one changed to integral. Then 5x c is the x equivalent to the x then use the formula number 3 this 5 place before the integral or number 5 integral sign then x dx now equal to the given integral functions okay therefore our answer is correct discussion for part 1 Abangan yung part 2.